In early February, residents of Luhansk discovered 42 new burials at the local cemetery. Residents of the village of Kirovka, which is located next to the cemetery, claim that they do not visit the graves and no one knows names of the killed. We thought, what if these people are lying here and their families don't even know it? So we took pictures of all the graves and started posting them in groups where people search for their missing relatives. Nine people have already responded to my post. None of them knew that their loved ones had been killed. They were searching for them, waiting to hear from them. Woman who discovered the burial site in an interview with BBC News. BBC News journalist found references to 37 men in open sources, the data which coincides with the inscriptions on grave tablets near Luhansk. So, 35 of them were Russians, one was a citizen of Belarus, another one was born in Uzbekistan. The websites of Russian courts posted their verdicts against 20 people who are full namesakes of those buried in Luhansk. Today, all of them had to serve their sentences in penitentiary institutions. According to court documents, Miroslav Zinchuk received his first sentence at the age of 16 for theft and grievous bodily harm. He was released two years later, and he almost immediately ended up in a colony again for theft and robbery. In 2017, he received a new sentence for theft. Timur Tibayev from Ulyanovsk was repeatedly convicted for robbery. He received his last sentence in 2022. Maksat Bek Hadriyev from Uzbekistan was convicted of trying to sell heroin illegally in 2021 in a BBC News article. The journalist managed to contact the relatives of two men whose names and dates of birth match the data indicated on the grave tablets at the cemetery near Luhansk. They said that their relatives were prisoners who agreed to go to war against Ukraine as part of the Wagner PMC. What's killing me is that no one told us, and it's still nothing but silence. My child was buried abroad. This is terrible. I want my son to be near me. If they won't give him back to me alive, at least let them bring the body. Mother of one of the prisoners in a BBC News conversation. Meanwhile, the British International Institute for Strategic Studies has calculated Russia's losses in military equipment. According to experts, Russian troops failed to gain air superiority over Ukraine with the help of massive missile attacks. Moreover, the tank and artillery potential of the Russian Federation has significantly reduced. According to available estimates, about 50% of the pre-war fleet of modern T-72B3 and T-72B3M has been lost. In addition, the composition of Russia's tank fleet has changed. Because modern vehicles have been destroyed, Russia is trying to compensate for the losses by decommissioning older vehicles. James Hackett, senior analyst at the British International Institute for Strategic Studies, in the Military Balance 2023 report. The burial near Luhansk is already the third cemetery with dozens of graves of prisoners who were mercenaries of the Wagner PMC are found. According to Russian human rights activist Lyubov Sobol, if in recent months Russian sources reported about 300 killed soldiers every week, in December and January this number doubled to 600 people. In addition, over the past week, the BBC managed to confirm the death of 1,063 Russian servicemen. These are the biggest losses during the entire war. Reported by Dana Kolesnik, Victoria Sinko, UATV News.